Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Enduring Agony here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video to explain to you guys what the skill-based matchmaking is all about in Advanced Warfare. The gameplay in the background is just some Team Deathmatch on the map Horizon. I am using the HBR83 Average Joe, and I do go on a 20 kill streak. I get the Relentless Metal, and I do die like 2 seconds later. So I did choke off the DNA, but you know, you're not going to get a DNA every, every match you play in Advanced Warfare. So that's enough about the gameplay in the background. You guys might be also able to tell that my voice sounds different. I am using a different mic and I really find this mic to be better than my old one. Um, this one I sound more crisp and clear when I talk instead of the old other one was kind of fuzzy when I would talk. So I think this mic is going to be a lot better for the quality and you guys will be able to understand me better. So now skill based matchmaking. What is it and why the heck is it in the game? As a lot of people ask me that. Hey Sledgehammer why did you add skill based matchmaking into the game and their question and their answer to that question is always for everyone to enjoy the multiplayer now i can tell you that a majority of the people do not enjoy the multiplayer because of the skill based matchmaking now skill based matchmaking was first introduced to us in black ops 2 and i can admit to you guys that black ops 2 skill based matchmaking was completely broken and i never felt it at all because i'm fit um uh, technically a massive prestige in black ops 2 on Xbox 360 and I don't feel the skill based matchmaking at all. I, I can be put up with level 30s who have 0.5 KDs and play on one sensitivity and they, they look like they're, like they're bots in private match on recruit and they don't know what they're doing and I can drop the nuclear metal on them and I feel like a, I feel amazing but then when you hop on advanced warfare it's not as easy to get a DNA bomb because of that skill based matchmaking now, even though it's broken in Black Ops 2, it's alive in Advanced Warfare. And I mean alive, I do mean alive, because I'm, I'm going to be 7th Prestige in Advanced Warfare, and every match I have to say I play against people who are the same skill as me. Yes, I've played a few matches with people who are 1st Prestige or haven't Prestige yet in level 30, but that's not often. I frequently play with people who are the same skill as me. And, and it's not like entertaining to be frustrated all the time playing against like a whole other team that's six people on another team if you're not playing ground war. And it's pretty much like a replica of you six times on the other team and you're facing them. And I have a 1.8 KD, so I'm pretty much playing with people of like a, a 1.65 or a 1.7 and above. And it's, it's not as enjoyable as playing against noobs. And everyone wants to play against noobs, but it's difficult. Even the Christmas noobs, they're probably all playing against each other, and they're enjoying themselves to a certain extent because they're all playing against each other who have the same skill, depending on how good you are and how bad you are in Call of Duty. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers have talked about this already, and I know a majority of them, or probably all, just don't like the skill-based matchmaking. The reason is because it's hard for them to get gameplays on YouTube, and I can admit that being a smaller YouTuber and trying to get gameplays is not as easy as it was in older CODs because of the skill-based matchmaking just kind of takes over. And Michael Contry, the head of Sledgehammer Games, who made Advanced Warfare, said that internet connection comes first before skill based matchmaking when it comes to multiplayer and I, I don't believe that one bit 100% I believe that it's all skill based matchmaking because it's first of all I do lag sometimes in this game and it's the skill based matchmaking is just alive you see it all the time every match you go into every time I play advanced warfare I see people who are just like me maybe a little bit bad but are still good or that are 10 times better than me I'm like really it's just it's unbelievable and I know why they added it in they want everyone to have fun but not everyone is enjoying the game because of that skill based matchmaking and I really feel like it's just taking over this game and I think Call of Duty should be like it was internet connection everyone knew that if someone could turn around 360 you and kill you it's because they have the fair advantage either of course they have good headsets and they're good or their internet connection People who have good internet connections on the old Call of Duties always had the fair advantage and you could always tell when you played the old Call of Duties. But this game, it is not about connection. It is about skill based matchmaking. And right here I ended up dying off the nuke, uh, I mean the DNA streak. But yeah, it's not as fun because you're always finding people who are the same skill as you. And you're not enjoying yourself as much as you are when you're playing an older Call of Duty and you're doing really well. 
but then on this game you might have a good game here and there but the majority of the time you're facing people who are the same skill as you or even better and, and it's just it's not as enjoyable as when you go back in the old CODs and you find people who are awful who are level 30s and just don't know what they're doing but you know guys you can't change it Sledgehammer just wants everyone to enjoy themselves but I just think they got it all wrong with the skill based matchmaking but they tried I do like advanced warfare but you know guys videos coming to an end hope you guys did enjoy this video um, please like comment subscribe guys and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya